guys, so here's the uh, home page I have set up for my uh, my instrument cluster. One thing that's actually been really impressive with this bike, I was expecting a big drop uh, from the 300NK. My fuel economy is still amazing. I haven't reset it. I've got 471 miles on it. I'll have 500 on today. But it's getting 78.2 miles to the gallon, which is super impressive. Um, I have got on it a few times. Um, but yeah, with braking, I haven't got on it as much as I, I usually would. Uh, red line's at 10,000 RPMs. I haven't got it even close to red line yet. I think the most I've got it to is about 8,000 right now. Um, it's been pretty good though for the most part. I got my phone hooked up to it. I've used navigation a few times with the uh, CF Moto app. Um, the music I don't really use too much. I got in a wreck about a year ago, and ever since then I just don't ride with any music. Um, I like to have zero distractions and just be on defense when whenever I'm out riding. New Mexico riders are pretty rough out here, so you always got to be on your toes with these. But we'll go ahead and we'll do a walk around here in just a moment and uh, show you what it's all about. All right, so here she is, long-awaited. 450 SS. I had a 300NK for several couple years and um, really liked the bike, wanted something a little more power on it. I'm also 35 so I don't need to get a cross rocket that I'm actually going to be going 130 on or anything like that. Um, figured I, I missed the leans, missed the turns, but don't need to go on the top speed anymore now that I'm getting older and hopefully a little more wiser. But when CF Moto announced this guy was coming out, I was super excited to, to try to get it. I got it from uh, the local dealership, Bobby J's Yamaha. Um, I deal with Nico and Hunter. Those guys are great. I've been bugging them for about the past four months to see if there's an ETA when this guy was supposed to show up. Actually worked out pretty well. Went out to Florida. As I was getting off the plane, I get a text from me, Nico that the uh, the, the bikes arrived. They were in the crates, and they are going to set them up in the next day or two. They got it done the next day. Went over there right away and picked it up. Um, super easy to do. I uh, sold my 300 NK to a guy for my work because he really liked it. So, CF Moto's making a pretty good name for themselves out here in the States. Um, out in New Mexico, it's pretty dry, so we can ride pretty much year-round as long as there's no freezing or anything like that. we would be out on the bikes. I put about 5,000 on the 300 NK, and I'm about 500 right here after a month on it. Probably would have more, but I also coach a little league baseball, so I have to take my truck with all the baseball gear in it. But I've really enjoyed it so far. I don't really have any complaints at all on the bike. Um, you know, everything's been good. The Brembo brakes, they, they stop on a dime. They're awesome. Um, and it's just smooth, just the whole power band on there. It's just, it's been an amazing bike so far. Um, expect to ride it all summer long as soon as baseball's done too. Uh, we have All-Stars, so that's probably gonna be going on until July. So we, we got a little bit of time on the truck still. But I'm going to be riding it every opportunity I get. Um, when I'm not riding this, I'm also riding the one wheel. So anything with two wheels or even one wheel, I'm going to be riding all summer long on. Um, commuting to work's good. I commute probably about eight miles to work every day. Um, I like the white. I was actually really set on getting the black and the red. But when I saw the white in person, I, I was sold. I was hooked. Um, what it really reminded me of, to be honest, when I just got back from Disney when I was getting off that Florida plane, just got back from Disney World, went out there and did the whole new Tron ride, so I was kind of all Tron hyped, and when I saw this bike, I thought the scheme really looked like a uh, Tron light cycle, so I was super, uh, super hooked on it. It was a little bit first sight when I saw the white, and I've always been partial to blue. My 300NK was the blue, uh, f 150s blue, so something about blue just does it for me. Um, we're taking out for a ride here in a little bit, kind of show you guys just a little bit how she sounds, how she feels. Um, I'll start it up and let it idle for a little bit before we get going. Um, for the most part though, it, it's been a great bike, so if you're on the edge, if you're kind of debating if you should get a CF Moto, I was super leery about it. You know, a Chinese manufacturer coming to the States, that is going to be cheaply made. They really don't really cut any corners on these bikes. Um, you got frame sliders right here from the factory, the winglets, they look super cool, kind of that Ducati look on it. So they really went above and beyond on it. Um, shifts smooth, clutch feels great, the brakes feel great. So everything's good. The only complaint I've had, but it's for the passengers. It's a little slick on the back seat. So, you know, they follow, they slide a little bit. 
Um, but it's not too bad if you got a pretty girl on the back of your bike. I don't think any riders ever complain about that, that the back rider's sliding into you. But other than that, not a single complaint on this whole bike. So we're going to take it outside, let it run for a little bit, let you guys hear how it idles, and we'll go for a ride and see how she does. All right, here's the startup on the CF Moto 450 SS. Before we get it right in, I'll give you guys a little walk around.
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Um, if you guys have any questions, if I don't go over anything and you're wondering anything about CF Moto, um, drop a comment. I'll get back to you. If you live out in New Mexico, drop a comment as well. Love to go for a ride with you guys. All right, you guys stay safe out there.